If you've been to college, you know there are good days and bad days when drinking. This is just one of my stories of one of my nights drinking. Okay, let me set the stage. I'm an innocent soul. I was in college with my buddies. I lived with four other guys. We crammed into this small house and what could go wrong? Hanging out with a bunch of guys and then living in college and then deciding, hey, let's go drinking. Before I go any further, this is a warning. I do not condone drinking, excessive drinking, and you must be of legal age to drink. Plus, this could lead to liver damage and mistakes that you can't take back. Now that I said that, let's just say we get started. What we do is we get ready for the night, we take our showers, shave, do our hair, get cleaned up, smell real good, and then that's how we prep for the day. Then we have to do a little bit of pre-party, so there may be that beer in the shower, or we get together, do a shot, say what we're gonna do for the night, and let's roll. Now, I don't like waiting in line for keg beer because I feel like it's a waste of time. There's other things I could be doing. I like to bring my own drink. Now, since I'm a broke college student, eating ramen or spaghetti with hot dogs, let's just say my choices are minimal. Now, I could have bought some authentic Russian vodka, some pop-off charcoal filter vodka, but what am I, some kind of animal? Of course I'm not buying that. I upgraded to Gordon's Vodka and OJ, or well, technically not OJ, it was Sunny D. So what I would do is I'd get the OJ container, literally just put the vodka in it, shake it up, I'm good to go, bring it with me. So the first thing we do is we go to the party, we start making our rounds, looking, looking around, seeing who we could talk to. So we're having a good time, I go on the dance floor, you know. <laughs> do my thing. One of my roommates comes up to me and says, hey, how much have you been drinking? And I said, well, you know, yeah, I've been drinking. He goes, okay, so give me your keys because you're not driving drunk. And I'm thinking to myself, well, okay. Being responsible, following orders, I give my keys up. As the night goes on, you know, I probably got shot down three times and I thought, well, it's the end of the night, time to go home. So I start walking home. And I noticed, I look around, and if you ever looked around that 12 to two o'clock in the morning in a college town, it looks like a bunch of zombies. All the college students are drunk off their butts, Ooh, mumbling, maybe puking, maybe hanging off somebody else. It looks like a bunch of zombies everywhere. It looked like the apocalypse. Thought it was The Walking Dead. Thought I had to go get my shotgun, find a bunker, whatever, maybe a prison. But for some reason, when you're when a guy drinks, he feels like he is super strong and doesn't feel any pain. He turns into the Hulk, then he thinks he's just invincible and he could do anything. Now me, I turn into a Navy SEAL. I think I could push through anything. Like nobody could stop me doing whatever I want to do. I'm walking down the street and I notice, wow, there's a desk on the side of the road. Now I know somebody's throwing it out because it's on the side of the road and it's partially broken. So I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I could probably fix that. I'm like a MacGyver when I'm drinking too. So I'm thinking, oh, I could totally fix that and put it back together. And now my Navy SEAL comes out in me and I'm thinking, oh, I'll just put this thing over my shoulder. Now my home is probably about a mile and a half home uphill both ways. Probably not both ways because I'm only going one way, but I'm up top, I go down this little cavern and then I have to go back up again. So yes, trucking this thing home, I'm struggling, I keep going, I'm like, I could do this. You know, it's hurting my shoulder because it's probably putting a dent in it. I mean, it was particle board, so it wasn't super, super heavy, but it was heavy enough. So I'm bringing it, maybe Ikea. I get home, I dump it off on my lawn and I'm thinking, oh, Yes, I accomplished something. It was my mission. I brought home a piece of furniture I made you. And when you're drunk, it was a great idea. And then I go into my room and I pass out a mile and a half for no reason. So I wake up in the morning, my mouth tastes like a porta potty, as if the porta potty at a state fair where about 250 people have already been through it, it tasted like that. Yes, horrible, smells bad probably the worst smell in the world. So what do I do? The first thing I do is go put some mouthwash in, and then brush my teeth, 
And then I go to the kitchen for something to eat, right? Go out there to the kitchen, see my friends, my roommates, and they go, Ed, what did you do last night? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you, you guys mean the, the desk. They go, no, you drove home. And I'm thinking to myself, no, I didn't. I gave my keys to, we'll call him Jeff. So I gave my keys to Jeff and they just look at me. And they go, you need to go look at your car. And I'm thinking to myself, oh no. You know, I'm thinking worst case scenario. What could have happened to my car? I mean, vandalized or did someone break the window? Did someone steal something out of it? Take the radio? I mean, anything could have happened. So I'm, I'm thinking the worst case scenarios, maybe someone vandalized it, maybe someone took the, like a tire, or maybe a flat tire, I don't know. Could have been anything. So I walk out there and I'm kind of peeking and I don't see it in the driveway. So I'm thinking, what? Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? And then I look over to the lawn and then I see my car sideways on the lawn but I did see my desk and I ended up using it for firewood because it wasn't worth it to begin with. And then I said to myself that I would never give my keys to another drunk person. So note to self, when you're drinking and you may be drunk, it's not smart to give your keys to another drunk person. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one little story. Of course, I've got a lot more, but thank you guys all for watching and stay tuned for more.